average treatment effect or ATE. The idea of the average treatment effect estimate is to compare the mean outcome of the treatment group with the mean outcome of the control group. There are many ways to calculate this difference. For example, I can write by sort T. This means within each group formed by T, treatment and control, summarize the variable X dot. The average expenditures of households in the control group where T equals zero is 4,475 and the average expenditures of the households in the treatment group for which T equals 1 is 5,386. The difference between the two is the estimated program impact. The program effect can also be estimated using the command t-test by t. It shows us the same information the means are on the first two lines of the outcome and it calculates the difference between the two groups for us. That's the households in the control group spend 911 tackle less than those in the treatment group. This command even tests if this difference is statistically significant. The new hypothesis is that the mean of the two groups is equal. The p-value of the test is 0.04, less than 5%. So we do reject the null hypothesis and we say the evidence suggests that this microcredit program does increase total household expenditure. We did this transformation using the natural logarithm of x dot. Let's see how it's useful. t test ln x dot by t. We have the mean outcomes in each group and the difference that is also significant at 3% or higher. What is nice about the natural logarithm is its interpretation. The difference is close to 0.17, right? I can say, on average, obtaining microcredit being treated increases total household expenditures by 17%, 16.8%. The log allows us to interpret in percentage and not necessarily in taka or dollars. If you want to control for the potential correlation within clusters, it's probably better to use the regression approach. Regress, ln x dot, with respect to the treatment assignment t, and the option cluster by village, which is the variable bill. The program impact is the same, almost 0.17. What changes is the standard errors, and thus the p-value of the test. Even controlling after the intra-class correlation, our program effect is significant. We can see this because the p-value is close to zero.